This is question number three for short answer questions for part C operating online. Please give a like and a subscribe and help the channel grow. Thank you. So this one says Ed is a student at Wigmore College. She's working with other students on a project to investigate the effects of plastics on the environment. All students have internet access and use a wiki as their online method of collaboration. Explain two drawbacks of using a wiki to collaborate with other students. Okay, first and foremost, what is a wiki and what is collaboration, right? Collaboration is, all it means is work together on a singular item or, or towards a singular goal. So typically a team or a group of people. And where is it? Wiki. A wiki, similar to Wikipedia, multiple people can edit the information. In this case, I'm assuming they mean at once, so they can collaborate well. They need to be able to see what the other person is doing. So that's what a wiki is and that's what collaboration means. Point number one says tracking changes can be difficult. It may be difficult to quickly identify recently edited content and identify content to be updated. That's true as well. Wikis don't typically tend to have a log of everything. Now with modern day, I would say cloud services like OneDrive, Google Drive, where we have documents, it typically does tend to have version control so you can actually see each version. So if a version might be saved every time a document is closed. So when you, you open that document again, it shows the last thing that was done and the thing that was done the, pre, the time before that last thing was done as well. So not all edits will be agreeable, acceptable to all of the group members. And they need to establish protocol for accepting changes. That's true as well. People will have different opinions. Yes, this should be there. No, this shouldn't be there. But again, I don't really see this as a downside. It is a negative that they have to come up with this thing. It's going to take more time. But this is like with anything else in working in a team. Oh, what happened? Um, open to spam vandalism if not managed properly. So one person could be malicious and they could just spam the entire chat, um, sorry, the, the, the entire workspace with garbage information, let's say. Someone can actually go there and put information that's not really supposed to be there as well. Unreliable information if not verified or validated for accuracy. That's true as well. Sometimes most of you guys will simply copy what you see from a website and paste it in a document. This is why I never, ever, ever, ever recommend it. Read it, understand it, and rewrite it is what I always say. If you don't understand it, or if you can't verify that information somewhere else, typically not a good idea. So my rule of thumb is, if you're going to reference something, you should find at least two sources. At this level, it's going to be very, very, very easy to find multiple sources for the same kind of information. Limited formatting options. Features, example, fonts, colors, and styles, which may be... Uh, detrimental to the overall output yes true wikis typically tend to have very basic html styles and because of that they're not that great whereas the newer cloud computing stuff like onedrive documents or google drive documents you can choose styles from hundreds of styles they have it will look very nice very professional uh, the software may be difficult for non-technical users which means all members of the group may not be able to contribute true again you will be doing some in, in some cases i guess back in the day some basic html editing um, not everyone's going to be able to do that so that's a weakness there a wiki doesn't provide analytics 